Good morning, everyone. This week's Torah portion is the story of Korach, who leads a rebellion against Moses. And he says, Moses, why are you the leader of the generation? And your brother Aaron is the high priest. Why do you feel more worthy than everyone else? And the failure and the terrible mistake of Korach was that he was comparing himself to others. Sometimes people look at others and say, why does this person have this blessing or this position? I can do it just as well. I'm as qualified. Why were they chosen? And the mistake of comparing ourselves to others is threefold. The first reason it's a mistake to compare yourself to others is because you're comparing their shiny outside to your inside. Many times we look at other people and say, wow, what a great life they have, what a fortune they have, what blessings they have. But we don't know what's really going on in their life. As someone said, the only really happy people are the people you don't know. If you know this person's true life, you would be perhaps content and happy to have your life because even though on the outside they may seem more fortunate, no one knows other people's struggles. And therefore never make the mistake of comparing your inside to someone else's outside. The second reason why you should never compare yourself to others like Korach did was because yes, that person may have certain blessings, but do you know the price they pay to have it? A person could be very successful, but do you know the challenges that come along with that success? And in this case, Korach was comparing himself to Moses and Aaron. Aaron had suffered a tragic loss. Two of his sons had died, Nadav and Avihu, while serving in the Holy Temple. Moses, we read just a week ago, had separated from his wife due to his high level of prophecy. And so, yes, someone may have a blessing, but do you know the struggles, the stresses, the headaches that come along with their blessings? Perhaps if you understood the sacrifices they have to make, you would be satisfied and content with your life. And therefore, don't compare yourself to others. The only one you can really compare yourself to is yourself. In other words, you know who you were yesterday and today you can try to be a little bit better than you were yesterday because the only person you really know truly is yourself. But finally, the third fallacy of comparing yourself to others. They tell a story of a king who was walking through a forest and he heard beautiful music and he followed with his entourage towards the music and he saw an elderly man sitting on the stump of a tree. The man was wearing torn, disheveled clothing and he was playing this old broken violin and he saw that two of the strings on the violin had broken, ripped and the man had retied these strings together and he was playing the best music he can with that violin. The king was so inspired, he said, please come to the palace tomorrow and play music for me. The next day, the man was honored. He showed up at the palace and the guards looked at him and said, you can't come into the palace like this. You need to get dressed properly. And so they brought the finest tailors, gave him a haircut, put him on a beautiful suit and brought him a brand new violin and presented him to the king. He began to play for the king and the king said, stop. The king said, you know, the reason I invited you was because I was so inspired the way with your broken violin, with the torn strings that were retied, you still managed to play the most beautiful music. That's why I invited you. But this music that you're playing, I have plenty of wonderful musicians that could perform for me. I didn't invite you to play with a new violin. I have the most talented performers and musicians that could entertain me. I invited you precisely because I love the way you made beautiful music, despite all the shortcomings and handicaps that you possessed. And this is true in every one of our lives. Sometimes we think what God wants for me is the perfect life, the perfect existence, the ideal state. But if God wanted that, he could have made us that way. What God really wants to do is see how much music we can create with the lives that we have, with the challenges that we have, with the struggles. And so trying to be envious of others is not what God wants us to do. God gave each person their life with their set of circumstances and the beauty we create from the lives we have, doing the best we can with what we have. Yes, trying to improve, but ultimately do it, dealing with what we have and doing the best with it, that's ultimately the music that God wants us to perform. And so God doesn't want us to compare ourselves to others. He doesn't want us to be envious of others. He doesn't want us to try to change who we are. 
He wants us to do what, the best we can with who we are and what we have. Have a wonderful day.